When a woman goes without her period for three to six months, having previously had normal periods, this is a type of secondary amenorrhea. In addition, if she initially had irregular or infrequent bleeding and the period stops for six to 12 months, that is also secondary amenorrhea. So secondary amenorrhea is when a woman who previously had periods now stops having them. On the other hand, primary amenorrhea describes a woman who has never had periods. Hi, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Askeway Health. Here, I share health information that helps you understand how your body works and get the best out of life every day. Drop me a line in the comments. Let me know how you're doing. Then sit back and watch this video. So, the lady who's not bled for 30 months has secondary amenorrhea. This is a medical condition that needs investigating. It has a wide variety of causes. Here are some causes of amenorrhea. 1. Using contraceptives. This can be the combined oral contraceptive, the pill, the patch or the ring, injectable progesterone like the depot shot, the implant, the progesterone implant or the progesterone system introduced uterine system that's the coil any of these methods can cause amenorrhea number two going into menopause natural menopause or early menopause their symptoms include things like hot flashes and vaginal dryness number three some types of brain tumor specifically a pituitary tumor the pituitary gland is found in the brain and symptoms of this tumor can include headaches, trouble with your vision, or galactorrhea, which means producing breast milk in the absence of pregnancy and breastfeeding. Number four, polycystic ovary syndrome, which is a condition associated with hormone imbalance and having lots of abnormal cysts within the ovaries. Symptoms can include irregular periods, acne, excess hair growth and weight gain. Please check out my videos here to learn more about PCOS and treatments including natural options number five problems that affect the normal functioning of the brain and some of the reproductive hormones leading to abnormal high prolactin levels abnormal fsh follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone levels they could be stress depression weight loss excessive exercise and chronic or long-term illness for example kidney or heart failure number six other hormone conditions like thyroid disease and other endocrine diseases number seven previous surgery or obstetric procedures that can lead to womb adhesions and scarring for example surgical termination of pregnancy number eight your period may stop after having chemotherapy or radiotherapy to the pelvic area for example to treat conditions like cervical cancer any of these can lead to early menopause from premature ovarian failure other conditions that can lead to early menopause relate to the brain and damage of the organs in the brain that make our reproductive hormones an example is a head injury Another is radiotherapy for brain tumors and a condition known as Sheehan's syndrome. In Sheehan's syndrome, a woman who has just delivered a baby and experienced heavy blood loss suffers damage to her pituitary gland in the brain from lack of oxygen. This is a potentially life-threatening condition. Other symptoms include trouble with breastfeeding and lack of menstruation. Number nine, apart from the contraceptive methods we talked about in number one, some other drugs can affect and stop menstruation. And examples of these are antipsychotics used to treat psychotic illnesses because they can cause increased prolactin levels and street or illicit drug use, particularly drugs like cocaine or opiate containing drugs like heroin, which can cause your sex glands to produce little or no sex hormones that's hypogonadism and lead to absent menstruation and at number 10 a condition known as primary ovarian insufficiency can happen in poi the ovaries do not work as they should now this is different to premature menopause and it also causes women to stop having their periods before the age of 40 years the thing about poi is that it can also run in families so if a woman has a close relative with poi she is at a higher risk of developing this condition.
So, these are some conditions that could affect one and lead to absent period. Thank you so much for listening. Please let me know what you think about this question and my responses, the different causes of amenorrhea we've talked about today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. If you found this video helpful, why not come and join the Ask Away Health community? Subscribe to our gold or diamond level memberships here. I'll place the link in the description box below for you. There are great benefits like joining our community forum, premium access to different blogs and health information resources and videos, comprehensive health checks and more. So please consider joining and I will see you again soon.